Okay, similar to the fuse, I do the skin for the cowling now. Therefore I cut out the spaces and now apply glue on them. I also cut out a base plate and the first spacer, but both from plywood. The plywood spacer is necessary because I want to have a very defined, very hard and very round inlet for the cowling. So this spacer is not elastic and gives us this opportunity. I pin this spacer to the base plate also with styrofoam glue, which is not the best for this, but I also fix it to the second spacer. Sticking the spacers to the base plate, I start with spacer 2. The plywood spacer is the last to be assembled. Assembling the spacers to the base plate, you will remember that I start with different distances between the spacers. The closer distance is applied in errors of higher tension and higher spherical bend to get the system more stable in this case. Okay? As already shown earlier, take a sheet of Depron and tape the outside. Prevent the Depron sheet over desk's edge and afterwards fix the middle of the edge of the Depron sheet to the middle of the edge of the tool. Now strap the sheet over the tool. And trim the protruding Depron away. First, strap the part to the back side of the cowling over the tool. And after this is done, proceed with the front area, which is much more difficult to strap and to crimp. But how this works, I will show in the next minutes. After the side toward the fuse is finished, we have to crimp in the material at the nose part of the cowling. This is the more difficult, the more material is protruding at the front. So at the first we would have to reduce this material to the absolute limit, but leave a little tiny safety area protruding the fuse. Okay, now we need our wooden stick again and so define a lot of little folds in the nose part of the cowling. These folds are to be defined in a distance of about 3 to 5 millimeters all over the nose part. After carving the over surface, uh, loosely fix the lower edges of the Depron to the tool without a tangential tension. Just fix them. Mm. 
See the folds I defined? Okay, now it's time to compress and crimp the pre-folded area. For this we need a part of tape with which we collect the folds and stick them to the plywood plate under some tension, as you see. But this is just the first step. We continue to repeat this step to uh, put more tension on the folds and get them further into the middle. So another tape part is needed. The pre-collected folds are collected a second time. and taped to the middle again. Okay, for a third and final collection we need a large piece of tape which is totally wrapped around the fuse tool We enlarge the part of the tape which is protruding the fuse tool with a second tape. And after the second, there follows a third. Until the tape protruding the fuse tool is long enough to be twisted. Which also pulls the depron to the middle in a symmetrical way. Okay. Now we have a predefined fuse or cowling with a lot of little wrinkles. So next step is definitely to fan the wrinkles and to fan all the strapped deprim. It's good that you have several layers of protection tape on the strong spheric band in the front of the cowling so the heat could be much higher and so uh, fan away all the folds. Remember in what I told you when heating the fuse shells, first the rims, then longitudinal and then 90 degree to this direction. Give yourself time Afterwards, make sure that the base plate is halfway even at the bottom. Put the base plate on the desk. Take your knife with the plywood below. Always move the part along the blade. And so separate your surface from the tool. <laughs>